Hello and welcome to another episode of Worst Collection Ever, the show where we tell you about our shittacular comic book collection. I'm Jen. I'm Sean. And once again, we are brought to you by the Sideshow Network uh, to tell you about two more issues of the Worst Comic Book Collection. Officially, yes. Officially. It was awarded. (laughs) It'd be funny if there was like a dog show (laughs) and... uh, we were uh how award- can we get awarded worst comic book collection i don't know I, i'm curious I'm, I'm is there a way like do we have to send like pictures to somebody like a catalog a list maybe of all the books we have and then guinness the i'm assuming the guinness book of world records would yeah. say you have the worst you are the worst is that what they do is that i don't what they know do there? <laughs> i don't know i don't know i would i would uh i would like that yeah yeah, let's get categorized as the worst. Yeah. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. All right. So, um, I hope we sound better today. Yeah, I think we were, we were using our actual, <laughs> we're actual studio. In the studio. We're gonna try to do this more often. <laughs> I think instead of shouting into a laptop on our couch, you can hear sirens go by and our a, cat being an asshole. I'm in the a background. podcast professional. I should actually record in the <laughs> studio that I practically live out of, anyways, exactly. half the time. So. What books are we going to talk about? Well, this week we're starting off with uh, Justice League International, uh, number 56, from early October 1993. I like that it specifies that it's early October. Well, this was back when they had like a different kind of schedule, I guess. It's weird because Marvel's done it before, too. And it's just it's just it's like, oh, we've had, you know, because it because it released twice a month or something, oh, you know. Bi-monthly. Yeah. So kind of doing what uh what DC's going to do? DC's going to do. With Rebirth? What? It's not a reboot. Yeah, bullshit. Bullshit. Yes, it is. Shut up. Just just, 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 <laughs> just it's shut a, up. A fucking re- it's fucking reboot. You fucked up. <laughs> you guys just pretended you didn't like fucking write yourself in a corner. That's what they did. That's what constantly keeps happening. They keep writing themselves in a corner, and then they're like, you know, Marvel and DC. And Marvel does the same damn thing. Of course they do. They're like, oh, all new number ones. I'm like, fuck you. That's why they really need to have... You know, we've talked about this before, but you, they really need to have, like, just books that don't, like, affect yeah. everything else that's going on. Just, like, you know, little one-off stories that are fun and yeah, just shitball stories, yeah. Yeah. No, I think I'd write those. Do. I'm yeah. good at shitball. Shitball comics. It's called Shitball Comics. Yeah. <laughs> we should start a comic in print called Shitball Comics. You know, and, and all of our characters are just like very thinly veiled uh, <laughs> characters from Marvel and DC. <laughs> Spider Jan. <laughs> Soup R. Soup or man. <laughs> Soup or man. <laughs> Actually, that'd be a great book. It was Soup or man. It's just like. <laughs> Which one will show up today? It's just a can it's of like, soup. Just a can of soup and it solves that saves the world. Yeah, it's just a can of chunky chicken noodle. Mm. <laughs> and then at the end, somebody eats it. So he just like pours it into a dish. You're like, all right, soup. You've, you've... <laughs> Maybe that's where man comes in. The man comes in and he's like, it's time for the man part. <laughs> yeah, this is the best comic book. Put soup, cape on it. Soup or man. <laughs> just tie a little like napkin around it. It's cape. It actually sounds like a good band that would be based out of... Uh, you know, maybe Silver Lake here. <laughs> I feel like I feel and like would that... they like. Oh, you know what it would be? It would be a band made up of chefs or like cooks who sing food related songs at like food truck uh, <laughs> festivals. <laughs> only a food truck festival. Like that's totally... Only that's it. They they're only out there, they're out they, they're out they have to have a food truck. They probably have their own food truck. Yeah. In between sets, they give you, like, fish tacos. They're on tour with Dave Duchovny playing the circuit. <laughs> yeah, the yeah. El, Gus- El Segundo it, circuit. Yeah, the, the dad rock circuit. Dad rock circuit. <laughs> hey, yeah. a gig's a gig. Gig's a gig. <laughs> if you get a, even if you get a free uh, cannoli out of it. Mm, cannoli. So let's get into this book here. Justice League International, number 56, from uh, October 1993. Early October. Early October 1993. On the cover, we have... Uh, Wonder, no, sorry, Wonder. Uh, no. Power Girl. Is it? She's Atlantean, though. At this point, she's Atlantean. Ugh. Her, because her, her, whatever. This is when she got Atlantean. This is when she got pregnant. 
This whole thing is stupid. She's preggers. Yes. Because uh, because by the time zero hour comes around, she's like full on pregnant. It's well, weird. You're you're pregnant or you're not. <laughs> well, I mean, she's she's fully. You know, she's about to. She's expecting. You know, it's not she's about- Schroding, Schrodinger's uterus. <laughs> it's just. <laughs> So she's about to have a, you know, she's about to give birth or whatever. I think she gives birth during the zero hour. Something happens. And she's, then everybody dies. The end. She's wearing a, she's wearing a very, she's wearing a very frumpy maternity sweater in that issue in the in that book. Mm-hmm. Um, but anyways, so she, but here she is. She's not, you know, she's you know, she's not full on pregnant. Yeah, she's new. She's newly, you know, she, she must. She's, she's not showing. She's not showing. Mm-hmm. I, I, I don't know how to talk about pregnancy. It, it's fine. <laughs> 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 so she uh so she's being uh ensnared mm-hmm. in uh in a in a, a net but she's like kind of uh, wrestling her way out of it but kind of looks like she's posing yeah, while it looks doing like it she's posing she's just like holding it like looking directly at the the reader just like yeah check this out it's a net yeah, like she's not like it's not really she's, <laughs> she's struggling. Not she's not inside kinda, of it. She's just like holding it up. Like she's in the middle of a photo shoot. Yeah, you know, because yeah, yeah. because like right, a really poorly planned photo shoot where they're like, here's a net, make it look sexy. Yeah, so because because here's the thing, it looks like it's a weird photo shoot because it's like directly to her right is uh, Hal Jordan, but he looks at, gold. Green Lantern, but he looks gold. He looks like an Oscar statue. And then behind behind both of them is. Uh, what looks to be like a a ram, uh, like a ho- ram head, horn yeah, headed. I, yeah. uh, I would say water buffalo. Water buffalo. Okay, yeah, very much. Mm. It's the it's the uh, uh, order of water buffaloes from the Flintstones. <laughs> but uh, so it's a guy. Yeah, he's go, holding a fucking club, so he, that's not far off. He's holding a club, and it looks like he's about to stab Wonder or keep out Wonder Girl, uh, Power Girl. Yeah, and. Uh, yeah, and it's just, but it looks like it's a pose photo, like they. Yeah, it really does. You know, like like it's like a movie poster. It's like they brought in like a weird props. So, you know, it's like okay, we got a gold hell Jordan, we got a. Oh, it's like somebody. It's like it's like it's a like reality a, show. It's like an improv troupe taking the uh, publicity photos. Yeah, or this could also be uh, a top model challenge. <laughs> yes, actually, where they're like, be. okay, we've got like this gold statue of Hal Jordan. Uh, we've got. <laughs> we've got this uh, guy who's gonna stand. We got we got a water buffalo stand. hat. And we also have like Captain Caveman's uh, club, <laughs> uh, and we have like these male. We have this male model, and now Smize. Now Smize, and uh, <laughs> let's, and who can take the best picture of it? Oh, we have and we have a net. We have a net. Use those props and Smize. Yeah, and let's let's, let's make it sexy, and, and then they, they came up with the cover of this yeah, issue. So that's great. Uh, it's called Ambush, uh-huh. and right when we get to it, we see one of these water buffalo guys uh, blasting the shit out of. Uh, Tasmanian Devil. Yes, and and as you can see, he was just happily enjoying a cup of coffee. I just noticed that. Yes, because it, it does <laughs> I just come. Just noticed that because it just comes up in a second. It come, it'll come up in a second, but uh, yeah, he's getting blasted uh, while eating a donut and enjoying a coffee while dre- while while in his uh, Tasmanian Devil beast form. Right, because why not? Yeah, he's gonna have a because apparently they live in a dungeon. I don't understand. Okay, we have to talk about that when we get there because I have no clue where or when this is supposed to be taking place. It takes place in current day or current day for 1993. Like it's not not enough. But fa- they're in a castle. Well, I mean, you know, like people live in castles. Weird people. Well, okay, they're superheroes. They're weird. But apparently they're living in this castle JLI, so I think they're, I don't know where they are, France or... Well, they've got to be somewhere in Europe. <laughs> Europe. Either that or they're living in Hearst Castle. Europe. 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 All right, so, so yeah, he's getting blasted by some guy. He's who, getting blasted by one of the water apparently buffaloes. his club can also serve as like a, I don't know, a laser gun. Yeah, they, they channel some sort of energy out of it. And then they, and a bunch of more of these water buffaloes show up and they start pounding on them. With, that's actually very funny because if you a bunch of these water buffaloes show up and they start beating him with their clubs. But if your club can shoot lasers, why are you expending the energy to whack someone with? I don't know. Maybe maybe it's maybe it works pretty good as a laser filled club. I, well, yeah, but then they start whacking him. Well, they they do wh- this a lot. They start beating people with clubs. It's yeah. like their thing. That's yeah, their thing. So they're beating them up and. Uh, and and they're like diabetes dies. Diabetes dies. He's like, ah, oh, and he gets thrown through a tree. Yeah, he gets thrown through a tree. He's getting which breaks, getting the shit beat out of yeah, him. Yeah, he's not having a good day. But then we're we cut to the inside of the castle, which has like a Knights of the Round Table sort of fucking thing going on in it. 
and like Sue, the breakfast nook. Yeah, Sue Digby and who is that? So the, her name is Maya. Okay, sure. And she is, I you know I looked her uh-huh. up before we uh, started, and it's like she's one of those characters that just was around in like the JLI for like, a, like she wasn't she was a part of the team, or she lived there. Okay. And she's able to like do something with like energy bows or something like that. Okay. And uh, which she right. doesn't do anything in this book. No, she doesn't. She just co- comes running to Sue to complain that Taz ate all the donuts. Yes. <laughs> which I thought was pretty funny. Yeah. And he did eat all the donuts. He literally As ate, we saw, was he eating... was in happily enjoying well, a donut. Who's the Tasmanian devil? Well, he was happily enjoying a donut when he got zapped. Yeah. I mean, that's kind of bullshit. So he didn't technically eat them all. There's one laying on the ground somewhere. No, well, she can go find it. Well, she could. Maybe we, that'd be great. That'd be great if there was like a, an extra really... panel somewhere. She was where she's like, <laughs> she's "Hey, like, oh, a donut. here's my fucking donut." <laughs> oh, thank God, I found my floor donut. <laughs> she's like, I don't know how long it's been here, but the five second rule still applies. But as they're sitting there, okay, so this is actually pretty creepy. Yeah. As they're sitting there, and like, cause Sue's just like, "Whatevs," you know. Yeah, she's and like, don't worry about it. It's just, we'll get you more donuts. <laughs> and as they're sitting there, a suit of armor. Yeah. Starts coming up to them like clank, like, clank, clank. And it looks like it's trying to talk to them, but it's a suit of armor with nothing inside of it. They are not nearly as scared as I would have been. No, that's really fucking creepy. They don't seem weirded out by this at all. Granted, they do live with a Tasmanian devil who eats donuts. Yeah, but it's a, it, it, an inanimate object has become animate. Like, that's creepy. Mm-hmm. So as that's happening... Um, a bunch of these wildebeest or water buffalo dudes like jump. I don't know where they come from. They kind of just come through a wall. It looks like yeah, they, it's implied that they come through the windows, right, but then the they windows just, are not broken. No, they're not. They do not break the windows, and they uh, somehow either they phase through a wall or something yeah. happened. And so they come, and then they they take down Maya really easily. Yeah, she gets fucking schooled. Yeah, and so Sue runs away. Sue runs away, and then she and then 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 they're like because because what happened is so like everybody in the league. Everybody in the in the group is gone because so basically, uh, and, you know, well as we'll see, um, who is it? Uh, Ralph and mm-hmm. Ralph Dibney, mm-hmm. elongated man, and Flash, right, are with. S- I don't know who they're with. Some guy, some blue monster. He's basically a fucking slab of humanity. Slab of some blue monster doing some sort of like robot recon or something. Yeah. Uh so they're not here. Power Girl and Green Lantern. Are, are walking. Are, they're, they're they're literally on a walk. They're on a walk. She's like, well, they're on a walk. Like they went on a walk. <laughs> they literally just went for a in walk. in their costumes. <laughs> just we'll, we'll we'll get to them. We'll later. get to them later. <laughs> so they, and then so and nobody's it, here. These are the yeah yeah. And then, then like you know, like metamorphos out somewhere. Yeah. Uh, and Doctor Light's not there. Uh, we don't even know. We never see Doctor Light in this book. Yeah, we do. Do we do? She's at the very end. Oh, did you read she? this at the end? I thought I did. <laughs> did you did you just give up? Yes. <laughs> She's totally in the end. Oh, well maybe I forgot that she was there. We'll find out. <laughs> so anyway, so they they so 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 basically Sue gets uh zapped. Well, see what happens is they first they zap Maya and that creepy uh suit of armor is just standing there and those guys are like, That's a weird place for it so they zap it against a wall <laughs> and <laughs> and it goes flying. And then they go running after Sue and she gets zapped. Well, by the way, as she's getting zapped her like whole robe falls open so you can see like her you know lacy bosom oh yeah yeah so i noticed that i was like that's 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 <laughs> because it's closed right here when she's running but there oh look at those tits it's like, oh so hot and then like as she's falling back like her she looks like she's like moaning like not in oh yeah you can put like, like a brazzers like, logo and it yeah. would totally fit yeah yeah yeah. it's a sexual pose oh, even yeah. though she just got uh trounced it's pretty sexy so this then a sexy book we're, I'm assuming, on some sort of moon. Maybe? I don't know what. Okay, I don't even know what the hell's going on. But yeah, they have, because so, what happens? And all of a sudden, Flash is like, "We're in the 70th century." I'm like, "When the fuck is that? Like, what is going on? And why are all these people unconscious here?" Huh? Well, they're robots. Are they robots? Yeah, they're robot. They're robots. They're like, "Oh, look oh, at these robots! Hey, we should sense. do something." And they're with uh, what's the, what is this fucking blue thing saying? I don't know. He has he, a name, though. He has a name. They keep calling him Godfrey. Yeah. Godfrey. Godfrey the Blue Robot. Mm-hmm. I don't know anything about him other than he's Godfrey the Blue Robot. Right. And they... Apparently he listen. He's, like, he takes orders very well or whatever. So, like, Flash and Elongated Man decide that they need to make sure he only listens to them. 
Right. Or yeah. they only listens to the JLI, the JLI members, except for Dr. Light, just to see if it actually works. Yeah. So fuck you, Dr. Light. Yeah. So basically, they're... Don't they call her Keychain at one Kimchi. point? Kimchi. Oh, I name. thought they said Keychain. <laughs> no, I actually think you're right. I think hang they on, call her Keychain. What is he... Oh, yeah. Yeah, I think that, that, that sounds like... Uh... It's like Flash. It's like, why'd you do that? Why are you leaving out Keychain? He says it, doesn't yeah, he? Yeah, he does. I, that's what I thought. I was like, oh, uh, no, I was right. Yeah, okay. He's being an ass. <laughs> he is being an ass. They're God. both being assholes. Garbage people. <laughs> they are both garbage people. So anyway, so he transports this, this Godfrey robot, transports them back to the castle. Uh-huh. And they come right smack dab in the middle of this. Uh, right after Sue gets zapped. This, so she's br- laying yeah. on the floor. Yeah. This, the, they run smack dab into this, uh, you know, this ambush. Yeah. Melee. And somehow... Flash gets. Uh, I don't really know what happens. To Flash me. gets zapped. He gets zapped, but like he gets zapped into that monster. His head. All you. This drawing is very weird. Because the monster is just like a little hump. No, oh, I know, but like this drawing is weird because it's like you can. Flash's head is so far back you can see his chin. Yeah. And then like his, uh, waist is like rotated. It looks like he took an action figure and just like tried to like move. Yeah. Weird. It's like not humanly possible yeah he's got trounced pretty good yeah he's he's in a weird shape yeah so you they get ambush and he's uh you know and then they're beating on uh ralph yep you know ralph yeah. <laughs> they're there. saying like his uh what did they say like his unholy uh physiology physiology uh, makes him not feel pain. That's okay. And then they just like beat him with a stick. They're like beat him harder, <laughs> and, 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 and which which it works, you know, because you know, because I mean, I I don't understand. Like, <laughs> so maybe I just don't understand. I don't I, I don't really understand stretchy guys. S- Ralph. Well, I understand. Like, I get, uh, like I get. You know how like guys like uh, Mister Fantastic or Plastic Man yeah. are able to do what they do. Because of some sort of like direct chemical, right? Like trauma. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But m- m- elongated man mm-hmm. is able to do his stretchiness because of the soda he drinks, the Gingold. Well, it's also maybe it's a chemical thing. It's a chemical thing, but it's weird because it's something where you know it's. I, I feel like it's not a permanent thing. Oh yeah, doesn't he have to like recharge? Like I mean, doesn't he have to recharge? And like, how does he, you know, ensure that? Didn't he find it at the bottom of the ocean or something? Isn't that like what happened? Oh, no, no, he he was just a fan of contortionists, and he found out that they all drank this thing, oh, so he went and got like the extract of it, right? And he just drank that. That's stupid. And it's like this fruit that apparently exists, and this is that's been his whole premise is that he's able to do be be incredibly stretchy. But I mean, contortionists, you know, or, don't yeah, just contort. They don't turn into things right they, and like stretch like you know they don't they're not like captain they're not like you know mr fantastic right you know in this case but he's able to do all the same thing he's pretty much able to do all the same things they do right which well, i find well i think more than because like contortionists themselves yeah they can contort after years and years of practice but some of them are just like genetically like double jointed or right you know all that sort of shit like he goes way beyond like things that contortionists can do because of this soda Things, which is really fucking dumb. Yeah, he, that's, maybe that's the reason why I, I, I've never really been on board with Elongated Man because he, he's just, just that that premise and it's a little weird in general. Yeah. yeah. So anyway, so they get ambushed and, uh, and beaten with sticks. Beaten with sticks, and then and they, robot guy doesn't do much, does he? Well, he doesn't do anything. They try to attack him, and and he just yeah he doesn't move. He just stands there. He just stands there. So now we jump to uh, the park. Yeah, where... so this is why I was so confused, because it, we were in a castle, uh-huh. and then we were in the 70th century. I and think now they're in we're... London? Because look, here's a... That must be London. Yeah, that's, that's... Is that Big uh... Ben, you think? Well, no, that's the London Bridge. Okay. London Bridge. So, like, this is why I was so confused, because now we're just in, like, modern day, where yeah. it's, like, regular people. So I was like, are we time jumping? No, they're, they're just no, living in an English castle. In London. Yeah. So they kick the queen out? I don't know. She doesn't live in like a castle castle. Well, they didn't, they're not living in Buckingham Palace. No, but they're living in it. I'm trying to think of what castles are like within the borders of London. Well, also within walking distance. Well, to that's take, the thing. Because like, apparently they took, you know, because Power Girl and The Tower Lantern, of London is like the closest thing I can think of. I don't know. Of. I, I should have did more research. Yeah. So. It's probably a castle that's not actually real. 
So, like, in their costumes, uh, yeah, in their Power costume. Girl in Green Lantern. And this is how Jordan, when he had, like, the white at his temple. Yeah, he was full. He was doing, it was full on uh, Polly Walnuts. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Which I point. actually like, the white in the temple yeah. of him. And so, like, they're walking, and they see Metamorpho sitting sadly by himself on a bench. And he looks really depressed. And Hal's like, hey, there's Metamorpho. He looks kind of sad. And Power Girl's like, yeah, he totally does. That, but if he wanted company, he would have stayed in the castle. So let's walk away from him and not ask our friend how he's feeling. <laughs> and I totally just leave him there, and he looks really depressed. And sad. He must have, yeah, because there's something something's come up. I think I think it's around the time of his miniseries when, uh, and I've read it, but it's like it's just a bunch of, you know, he's got he's got you know he's having the sad. He's having some problems, I think, with the uh, you know Sapphire Stag and whatever. So he's. Yeah, he's going through some stuff. He's also wearing a trench coat. He's also wearing a trench coat because he is, uh, you know, hideous yeah. metamorpho. He's a beast. Yeah. So, like, she pulls Hal away, and they're just walking. No, because no, what happens is because Hal's like, yeah, they wanted to take a walk because Hal wanted to talk to her about something. <laughs> and he's kind of like. Hal's ha- upset. Hal's upset, but he's not really saying what exactly is on his mind. And she's like, hey, out with it. Right. And he's like, look. I just don't – basically, he's trying to understand why she's pregnant. Yeah, because uh, they got, quote, hot and heavy, and then she said no because she wanted a real relationship, and now she's pregnant, and Hal is upset because she did not have sex with Because Hal, Hal's implying that she – That has, she's a slut. That she's had something with Aquaman. He's like, well, you don't really have a real relationship with him either, so why wouldn't you sleep with me? So basically, Hal is bent out of shape because she fucked somebody else. Again, Hal Jordan is is Dennis, Dennis Reynolds. Reynolds. <laughs> this, and, you know, we, and we were we, we were we were just kind of yeah you know, we were working on it, and it just you know on that last week, and it just kind of <laughs> came up. But it just happens that we're reading this this week, and I'm like, no, wow, it really is, yeah. Oh, you know what? Yeah, this mm-hmm. I can totally see Dennis doing this. Yeah, yeah, because. He did, like you can't fucking call dibs to a human being. That doesn't happen. So Hal thinks like because he called dibs to her, she shouldn't get to fuck anybody else. But he neglects to realize that she is an actual person who can decide to sleep with other people he's who are fully, not he, Hal Jordan. He's fully doing the implicate. He's implying. Yeah, he's like, like well, he's literally- well, you kissed me, therefore you owe me vagina, and she's like, <laughs> so she punches him, which you is <laughs> owe me vagina. You owe me vagina because I bought you dinner. You bitch, you owe me. And so she punches yeah. him in the face because that is the only reaction you can really have when somebody calls you a whore. So, but as they're, they're, I don't know, they're just hashing it out. And- yeah, she's like, you know, uh, she doesn't actually say that she fucked Aquaman because it seems like this might be some sort of like immaculate conception baby. Yeah. I'm to be honest, I don't even know what happened to her kid. It died. It did? I'm sure. Well, it's comics. I'm sorry. It, it either died or became like some powerful star being. Because, like, I got to think. I mean, right? granted, like, it could, or could have been, or could have been retconned in some way. Is I don't it a know. villain now? I don't know. Has it killed everybody? Is it actually Brainiac? <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? Who knows? So uh, something they see something. No, oh, they get a, they get a, they get a they get a I'll ping get or something from like one of the emergency beacons for the JLI, and they're like, all right, well, let's. Go take care of what we got to take care yeah, of. And let's grab uh, the grab Morpho, Rex. But we're going to literally, instead of just being like, hey, Rex, come on, we're going to grab him with like a, a claw from the sky. Yeah. <laughs> just like pick him up. But as that's but happening, know. they get ambushed by the Nets. Mm-hmm. The Nets, as we see on the cover. Yep. And uh, yeah, and, and beaten with the sticks. Mm-hmm. <laughs> these, these guys they are love actually sticks. These these uh, water buffalo guys are faring really well they, with sticks. They're doing really well against people with power. Like really strong they're beating people. Beating the shit out of them with sticks. Like the Flash and like Power Girl. <laughs> like those are pretty heavy hitters. And they are beating them. They beat them with a stick. A stick. Like what are they? Like a freaking whack whack. <laughs> I mean, like are they like? Uh, yeah, I don't. I don't. I don't know. I don't know. It's just, it's just, it's it's such a, a r- ridiculous like. Yeah. It's like, it, it makes it makes me gives me hope, you oh, know, that the, if I ever had to fight, if the superheroes see, ever went rogue in real life, beat Superman, I could with just a stick, I could just find like you know <laughs> like, a, like like a plank or something, and just start swinging and be like, <laughs> guys, I saw this in a book. The the Flash could be beaten to de- beaten down with a plank. He 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 could not divide defeat it. Like you could beat him down. Like 
And as, well, you know what? Honestly, as long as you trip the Flash, you're good. Yeah. If you trip him and then he's down and then you start beating him with a plank, you can win. Yeah. But you have yeah. to make sure you get him down first. So they um so they neutralize Green Lantern though because Yeah, they, they shoot uh what looks to be like butter. <laughs> It's true. Or Cause he, sure cause liquid on cover, cheese. Uh, on the cover, he looks gold. Yeah. But what appears to be is they're shooting him with, like... A movie theater popcorn Mustard butter. or something, you know? They're like, French is mustard, go. And, <laughs> it's like cover him. Which, to be honest, you know, if you hey, were... If yellow. You, you know, you, if you have uh, a, a modest billy club and some mustard, you could defeat the JLA. Like, if you have... Yeah, you some, totally if, can. Like, you could, if, you're, if you're at, like, a barbecue, you could just pick up like you know if you're if somebody's using the wiffle ball bat and just puts a mustard on it and just start swinging well usually those wiffle ball bats are yellow so you're golden i like wiffle ball bats i do too and they're usually yellow so you could probably beat hal jordan to death with one yeah i mean if you were really trying <laughs> but then so like hal jordan gets mustard covered and then we cut back to that suit of armor okay so this is this is this is, this weird. is weird this is weird so the suit of armor apparently has some sort of consciousness in it yeah is this shining that- knight no Literally, it's shining night. Sure, why not? It's anyway, shining night. So the so the foot of super armor has some sort of consciousness in it, and somebody I don't know who is telling him that, telling them. Yeah, there's like a disembodied voice talking to the suit. Is it? Is it talking? It's like a like a tel like a telepathic thing. It's telling. Um, hang on. So so hang on. Is the suit? Is the suit the one doing the warning? Or? I don't know, because there was a warning earlier, because the suit was trying to talk to them, but then something said they're here, and that's what alerted Sue. So somebody is, somebody is talking, some sort of being. being somebody is whatever. there asking where everybody is in the thing. Right. Or is it, is it, is it her? No. No. Okay. okay I have no. no idea. Okay. So it's... Some sort of mental consciousness is speaking to the suit, and the suit's like, "Hey, uh, the water buffaloes are here, yeah. uh, and Doctor Light's on her way. We need to like tell her not to show up." Yeah. And so she's running. Here she is. Here. That's right. I forgot about this. She's running to the building. She looks like a power keychain. Keychain looks like a Power Ranger, by the way. Yeah, she's got a ridiculous costume. Yeah, this is it's like the yellow and white as opposed to she the black. She looks like a white. fucking Power Ranger. Yeah, so she's she's running to the building, and as she's about to do, apparently this building, this this okay, so this castle, like the castle, apparently is not set off in like some sort of remote region That's because what I'm to because out. there's a random woman who probably looks appears to be just walking down the street. Yeah, it's just you know, it's telepathically, it's kind of like actually, it's it's it's, it's like um. Uh, what's the fuck? Uh, Kilgrave. Yeah, 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 yeah. Is it, you know, in uh, Jessica Jones, yeah, yeah, yeah. where like somebody is telling her, hey, don't go in there. And so. Right. So, like, all these people start talking to her and being like, no, you shouldn't go in there. Yeah. And then as that's she's happening. Like, Who are you? And she's like, don't listen. Don't, don't just, just run. Just don't. And she's run and she keeps running and everybody. And then, like, it just follows where somebody keeps. Right. All these other people just start being like, no, you can't go to the castle. No, I, what I want to know is. Doctor Light, why does she need to run? She's Doctor Light. She, she can, can fly. Right? She can fly and be like a light, like literally light. Uh, I don't know. And yet, maybe she forgot. She's like having a full sprint down the yeah, streets really of London or whatever, wherever in they her are. Costume, by the way, in her costume. And so while she, the while the while the water buffaloes are following her, right? And, so and eventually, she, she gets to a part. Oh, this is the thing. Okay, go ahead. So she gets into a car. Yeah. With another random, random guy. guy, and he's like, "Oh no, I'm going to drive you away from here." Yeah. Okay, so he starts driving her away, and he gets shot in the back of the head. Yeah, this poor guy's dead. <laughs> this poor dude, and he crashes his car, and then the water buffaloes come and collect Dr. Light. They collect her out, and they're like, well, uh, uh-huh. you know, they're basically whatever their cult is, or they need yeah, it to. Yeah, I don't know what they're doing. They're trying to, like, you know, stop the modern world or some. Yeah. Know, basically what all, you know, throwback cults like to do. And you know what's weird? Because I looked this up. I don't know who these guys are. The water buffalo? Because it just says druids. Mm -hmm. It doesn't, like in the DC wiki, you know, for this issue, it doesn't say like, oh, it's this group. It's these guys. First appearance, this guy. Yeah. It just says druids. Okay. And apparently that's it. All right. So. Druids. And and that's that's how how this issue ends. Yeah. 
That's and it, that's it. And so apparently, you know, and then eventually, uh, Zerawa comes and fucks up everything. So, mm-hmm, you know, mm-hmm. don't get attached to whatever this <laughs> book is. Basically, that should be the motto for comic books. Don't get attached. Don't get attached. To anything that is, you have just read. Anything <laughs> you enjoy it, will, will change. Will be changed. Oh, but probably everything you hate will stick around. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the, 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 everything changes, but nothing, the, everything stays the same. Right. There's nothing. More things change, the more they stay the same. That's exactly. how they say it. Exactly. That's pretty much the comic book motto. Yeah. Um, so that's it for Justice League International number 56 from early. Uh, early. Early October 1993. Would you read the next issue? No. Yeah, I can care less. I don't care. I don't if care. it's beautifully posed yeah, like this I cover, mean, I might be interested. I'm, cover. I hope Hal Jordan gets more mustard attacks. Yeah, we well, deserve. He had a he, he, Hal. <laughs> He's such a whiny little baby. Like, this is the second know? week in a row. Second week in a row where He's... the dickery of Hal Jordan has come has permeated our book <laughs> or our really podcast. Has. And uh, as 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 uh, as a ch- rightfully so. I mean, yeah, he he's basically just like a a penis in a Green Lantern uniform. A penis. A penis. <laughs> penis man. Yeah. Well, Do you all right. Think there's like an, a a planet full of penis like beings, and one of them is a Green Lantern. So it just like looks like a dick wrapped in a Green Lantern. Outfit. That would be fun. That would be actually a really funny uh, bit if, like, you know, the Guardians were like, "All right, you passed your test," and it's just like, you know, just howl and like kill a walk stand by. It's like it really looks like a human dick. <laughs> You know, and it's just like, like, it's just like, it's just, it just, fun- it kind of, like just, eyes and just like a smiley Yeah, face. just a functioning monster dick, you know. Like a six foot tall dick. With like, you know, and his balls or legs and just like, it's like, <laughs> womp, 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 you know. But like, their little like feet at the bottom. Yeah. <laughs> and he's like, I'm here to say, yeah, yeah, it just happens that there's a planet that just looks like gigantic male genitalia. You know, so. It's a great planet. That That's, <laughs> you know, and. There has, I mean, you know, why not? That's, that, 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 you know what's funny is that that premise sounds like a like a Saturday Night Live sketch or something. It really like, does, like a rejected one. Though, like really a rejected one where it's like, yeah, where they've been sitting around and being like, well, we got Ryan Reynolds on this week <laughs> and he's promoting Green Lantern. What if there was like a planet that was just nothing but like, like human dicks? Yeah, and he had to train it. He had to train the dick and we just had all these <laughs> jokes about di- Yeah, yeah. He couldn't understand why it looked like a dick. You know that was a reject. You know that was that like a thing. It had to have been. It had to have been. You know that was on the board at some point. <laughs> Where it was just was like, and Lauren human, just walked by and went, "No, Dick, Green Lanterns are dicks, literally." <laughs> and he just went, "No, <laughs> throwing garbage, toss that shit in the shredder." It was, it, but you know, it had to be on there at it some point because you know, like, been. like somebody like Seth Meyers, who's a big comic book geek, yeah, uh, he probably he, he, that that was probably his. I bet if we asked him, he'd probably be like, "Oh yeah, 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 yeah that was yeah. me, yeah." <laughs> I was reading, I was reading uh, Justice League International fifty six, and I was like, There's you just, know, it would be great. You know what? It was just some poor writer who was just like two o'clock in the morning had to come up with ten ideas for sketches for their eleven a.m. meeting. And he's just like, fuck it. Green lanterns look like human dicks. Whatever. Here you go. <laughs> Fucking, I'm so tired. I'm going to go sleep on my couch. Just take it. He woke up and it's just it's just this dick green lantern. And he's like, you know what? I, I'm too, dick no. lantern. And he like wakes up 10 minutes before the meeting and he was like, I didn't think this through. And he just goes in there anyway, uh, he, knowing he it's going to so get he had, so, or, or he had like, he it was a last minute idea. And so because he had like 10 <laughs> ideas and like the last three, he's just like, he gets, it's he's trash. reading because he's going through and he goes, ah, um, so I have this one <laughs> that was like, it's like, so like there's Green Lantern, but like, you know, what if like, he's like, how like Green Lantern, there's like all these aliens <laughs> that are like Green Lanterns too, but like one of, one of them will look like a, like a dick, like a, like a peanut, like a, like a, like a dick, like a, like a dick, like, a, like it was colored like a dick, but it was like, but it was a hero and like. He had a train. He's like, no, you know what? Forget it. Forget it. Even said it. Forget it. I, I don't know. <laughs> you know. No, we we can't do it. Mm-hmm. No, we can't do it. And then somebody's like, no, no, no. Well, what if I... <laughs> and they start tagging it. Oh, man. And then somebody was like, you know, but there's like mostly everybody's embarrassed well, yeah. for him. Yeah. Because somebody said, and so he walks out of the room and everybody's just kind of looking at the guy. Just yeah, like, well, he's been having some problems. He's like, yeah, that wasn't very good. You know, yeah, and like, like, you know, Lauren mm-hmm. just kind of, you see how Lauren looked at him? Yeah, you know, he just broke up with his girlfriend, so he's like going through some some problems. He's not so. really focused. Yeah, he's kind of off his game. <laughs> <laughs> That's what would happen. I like I like I like this. I like this. Yeah, I, like, I, like, I like I like I like this. When this became a uh, of Saturday Night Live uh, behind the scenes. Yeah, sketch. That's what we do. This is good. Yeah, <laughs> we're a good podcast. Anyways. Uh, <laughs> 
Sure. So that's it for this issue. Uh, we'll be back with the next one. Whack, 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 whack. <laughs> We're back. Oh, yeah. Here on uh, Worst Collection Ever. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. I kind of want to smash things. We were talking. We were just having a discussion about how in Los Angeles there's gonna be like a pop up uh, smashathon rage rage room. Even, it, yeah, it's like a rage room, and you spend forty bucks for ten minutes to go break shit. But you know, we could go to Goodwill and just like buy a bunch of yeah plates the, and then like break them in a parking lot. And yeah, then but then you know, like I, I wouldn't feel right about See, that. That's the thing. You'd have to clean it up. You'd have to clean. You could just do that. Like this is like set also someone that. might need those. Yeah, I'd rather have somebody that really needs those dishes and they're just not like watching this going <laughs> like assholes just be like I break things. Meh. Yeah, I don't know. No, I like yeah. I like I like this again. All right. Okay. So book number 2. Book number 2 is Spider-Woman volume 1 mm-hmm. number 45 from August uh 1982. Yeah. Um I would like to not have to talk about this as long. <laughs> you really didn't like this, huh? The fucking okay. First, I'll, I'll be, I'll be okay. I'm just gonna be honest. It's about the Impossible Man, and we've we, we've run into the Impossible Man a few times mm-hmm. in our things. We had pretty recently with the Hulk issue that we did. Um, but the whole issue is about him, mm. and Jesus Christ, is it just? I, I'm not interested. Mm. I'm just like, could it be? Could it be over? Yeah. Yeah. I, so, right. I'm already preempting this. So we'll just talk about this because I had Sean much more fun. This issue, I'm not. Yeah, and I mean, it's like because here's the thing. It's, you know, what's funny is that so, so the cover mm-hmm. is Spider Woman, Jessica yeah. Drew. She's chasing after what appears to be Spider Man, but he's green. But he's green, and he's running with a bunch of like jewels and stuff, and she's chasing him like on a stage, mm-hmm. uh, like for like a thing yeah and uh like a, like an opera like yeah. an opera stage you yeah. know and she's chasing him and then there's like a arrow pointing to him and it's like no nah, could it be you know to you know spider-man which is really impossible man spoiler mm-hmm. alert yeah um yeah and that's that's the uh that's the premise of this book uh that possible impossible man shows up and basically is like hey i had a girlfriend well let's, let's yeah let's actually talk about it I know you don't want to talk about it that much, so we will try to keep it short, but we still have to talk about it because that's what happens on this show. So. We're going to do our justice to the listeners. All five. Just like, so all, all. there's a book and like shit happened and whatever, and he just throws it in a trash can. And you hear like an explosion. All hundreds of you in St. Paul, Minnesota. <laughs> I'm speaking directly to you guys. I know you're listening. We're going to like. I know this you know because my stats tell me that a lot of you and there there is like a big swath of listeners in Minnesota. And by big swath, I mean like four people. No, like a couple hundred. Four. No, a couple hundred. If we wait, we could probably sell out a room in like a small room. Four. <laughs> in Minnesota and St. Paul. I really uh i don't believe anybody in the past 30 days at least i, I, I it's that hard, might change it's hard for me to believe that anybody listens to this show outside of you <laughs> and me and, uh, and our and, buddy nick and like nick and like maybe your brother might download it every once in a there's while there's literally bored. in the last 30 days there was one download in buffalo i assume it was my brother it had to have been maybe it was who else could it have been it had to have been <laughs> had to be Brian. Buffalo, I, you I, shame I, me. I don't care. <laughs> just literally one of you listening. So, if you whoever's listening from Buffalo, whether it's my brother Brian or if it's somebody else, you go ahead and tell everybody that Sean Merrick from Buffalo, <laughs> now living in L.A., living his life, the richest man in podcasting. Oh, shut up. <laughs> You're not the richest man in podcasting. I hate when you say that. <laughs> the richest, I'm the Ted DiBiase of podcasting. <laughs> <laughs> it just you know every time you enter a room it's just gonna be uh, Sh- uh what's his name uh, shane mcmahon's I- entrance music says money 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 so that's fucking song is just gonna play and everybody's gonna be like i want to enter room. Of this is I, wanna, true. I wanna enter rooms like uh, <laughs> do you remember okay do you remember the the, the the charlie murphy sketch with rick james Yes. I want to be uh, Dave Chappelle as Rick James entering the, the part where he rocks in. He's just kind of got this really like angry, smug look on his face, and he just jumps on the couch and starts dirtying it up. <laughs> he's like, he could buy another one. 
<laughs> and he just, but he just kind of has to look like, eh, you know, I just yeah. want to walk into rooms like that. Like, oh, the richest man podcasting. Eh. Yeah. You just need like, you know, every time you walk into a room, you need to like set your iPhone to your entrance music <laughs> and you need to like wear, like, do you remember? Okay. So oh, I'm trying to remember what this guy's called, but do you remember like there was used to be an infomercial where a guy, um, who was like, you can make all this money. Buy my book. You can make the money. And Matthew. He, he was wearing yeah. the dollar. I know you're talking about. Su- I, I'm, yeah, I'm, I'm, you know I thought about him the other day. Yeah, I don't remember his name. But he had that suit that had all those dollar signs on it. And you could like buy his book and like make money or whatever, mm-hmm. which was such bullshit. Yeah, it was something. But you uh, need that was, suit. Yes, I do. And you need a money and I need, and uh, I can wear, centric I'm, theme I'm going to wear it the, to, the, to the festival. And you better get yourself a Podcast. cane that has like a dollar sign on the top of it. I want I want to be carried I want to be carried in like the wrestling when back in back in the day for all of our wrestling fans that used to so when they used to have the king of wrestling they would have like a bunch of jobbers put you know carry like a throne mm. to the ring yeah. you know and the wrestler would sit on top of it so it'd be like twenty guys and I'll just have like all these other <laughs> podcasts. Well, well, maybe maybe you should like put it down for like because of the riches. You need to recalibrate it so it's like for podcasting. So basically, it's just like four dollars. Like you only have like four dollar signs on your suit instead of like a suit full of them. And then like we should do a Patreon, and the way you could submit, and if you submit a bunch each month, each month, you could uh, you could be one of the people that carries me in my challenge. <laughs> well, I was gonna say, really, it's just gonna be your 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 little. Uh, you know what they carry you on is just going to be like a beat up Ford Escort from like not like, even like nineteen ninety six. You can carry. You know what? You can and carry. People just pull it. You can carry me on a deck chair. It's fine. <laughs> like a ten dollar chair from Target. You can. You, you, like if you, a if you, you, you can one. carry me on a futon you find maybe in Austin. Maybe the, you mean the futon we left in Austin. When we <laughs> yeah, moved. if it's still there, you want to come find it. You know, we left when we moved out here five years ago. You want if it's still there. I'm sure know. people fucked on that thing. Yeah, it, like without taking it inside. <laughs> <laughs> like it was. Well, just, we lived in Alston. It was nothing but college kids and us. So I'm sure. I think was, there literally was. So, so, <laughs> so some. I mean, granted, we just graduated, so we were still collegey. College in quotes, even though we were grad students. College. <laughs> but like, I'm sure that there were like two drunk college kids, like staggering down the street, and they're like, "Ah, oh, dude, let's fuck right here," and they totally did, and it was gross. Ah, uh, dude, I, what two dudes? <laughs> it could be. Yeah, why not? Yeah, well, we all, big, big Massachusetts is pretty progressive. Yeah, it could be two dudes fucking, could be two ladies fucking, could be a lady and a dude fucking. I don't judge. This is actually uh, the premise of Batman v Superman. This is true. It's going to be a hardcore porn. It's hardcore porn where they just fuck on a couch and all. St- <laughs> and I and I really hope Wonder Woman just like stands in the background with like a whip. Just all right, let's talk about this. Let's get this over with. So here's the book. All right, let's do this fast. So Spider Woman. You have trouble with that? Yes. <laughs> so Spider Woman's just like hanging out in her office, and like some guy who looks and sounds just like Humphrey Bogart, except he's green, walks in the door. He's green. He's wearing a purple suit, and he's like, "I'm looking for Sam Spade." And she's like, "Um, Sam Spade is not like real, and Humphrey Bogart is, I believe, dead. Well, he's very dead. <laughs> he's very. Dead. He was very by 1982. He was, he was so dead. He was dust. And, and she's like, mm, mm, "Okay, whatever. Like this obviously is a joke, but I'll listen to you." And she's like, oh, I'm looking for my wife. And he's like, what, do, what does she look like? And he goes, like me. And then he turns into like a lady alien. And this is when we find out that he's the impossible man. Yeah, because he basically he can transform his, into whatever he Basically wants. his lady alien version. The, the, the female version of the impossible man is basically the impossible man with, with breasts. Well, but, but he actually does say that he, <laughs> this is what gets really creepy. He's like, I'm looking for my lady alien. I last saw her at this hotel. And, and, and she like ran away. I don't know what's wrong. And <laughs> She says, what were you doing at that hotel? He says, we were observing human tribal mating rituals. Mm. So I was like, was he there watching people fuck? Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. So he went to this, him and his wife went to the hotel to watch people fuck. But. Why isn't that a comic? Yeah, that's a much more interesting (laughs) comic. But apparently his wife, he said he split himself into two. Mm -hmm. So it's just him with tits. Mm -hmm. Yep. So anyway. Because he comes from this the planet pop up and they basically can. Uh, do whatever they want there. And he, he's like, oh, I'm friends with the Fantastic Four, but yeah. I can't find friends. them. They weren't home, so can you please help me find my wife? My wife. And it was like, sure, whatever. So 
He's like, but you're not dressed for, you don't look like a detective. Everybody needs to wear like a trench coat. And she's like, oh, whatever. So she like leaves her office, but then like her plant has eyeballs. Yeah, a plant has eyeballs, which, spoiler alert, it's, it's the lady. It's the wife. So, the wife. My wife. Uh, so. God damn it, I gotta stop doing that. <laughs> it will never get old. No, it's already old. Oh, damn it. No. <laughs> uh, so anyway so they like decide to instead of look for this woman they go to a department store yeah why are they in the department store because they, they, she they, has they, to basically get gear so she looks like the question can, can, can't she just do her job that I, he's hiring her for apparently, which she's not technically hiring her for she just kind of because there's no money exchange no there is no money he's just uh, like she just goes eh. just, yeah I don't, I don't know. She, it's a terrible business plan, really. <laughs> she the just, worst business plan. She does not take any money for her services. So, like, uh, Impossible Man turns into a dog. He fucks with a police officer. She gets a, a trench coat. And then there's, like, gunshots. So they go after him. And Impossible Man catches a guy with a gun. But it's not really a criminal. It's just, like, some guy who was chasing. It was, like, the proprietor of a store who was chasing somebody who yeah. just stole his jewels. Yes. So they're like, all right, well, we're going to go track it down. Some sort of crime group yeah, so is stealing jewels. Jewels. And so here's okay. So what happens <laughs> this part. Act, yeah, this part's ridiculous. This part is fucking crazy. Did you want to talk about this part? Well, OK. So basically what's happening. So what's happening is she's you know, he's chasing after her, you know, spider woman. Now just just but just a spider woman. Mm-hmm. And uh, so they're using they're following this truck. And she, so what he does is he follows, you know, he traces that. He was, the impossible man was in the shape of a B-52 bomber. Yeah, he's chasing after this plane, and then he decides, he sees the plane. The truck. And, or, the, or the truck, and he's like, okay, I gotta stop it. So he turns it to, like, a big, like, 17-ton weight. Yeah, it drops right onto the fucking engine of the truck. Right. To which, actually, and this, this is... No one should have survived that. No, no, no. <laughs> no, no everybody should have been... Because this, this, this truck is toast no oh yeah it's absolutely it's he, he fucks it up so badly that it goes end over end and this is the funny okay so it's chasing after an old man now i have a question about this old man yes so here Why is he wearing a, a well, half well, shirt well, oh. okay, 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 because because he goes from looking like you see him very small mm-hmm. he's an old man working with a cane yeah. and then spider woman because the truck's coming at him spider woman pushes him out of the way and he turns into Terry Bradshaw. Yes. <laughs> because he's wearing, he's not wearing the vest anymore, but now he's wearing like a long sleeve, like jersey, jersey. tee with it like numbers 49. on it. And it's like kind of like cut off. Like he just got like, he, like, you know, like back in the 80s, you would wear like a half tee. Yeah. Yeah. You know, but his head looks like Terry Bradshaw yeah, with glasses. Crazy. Are those his glasses or his those fucking are, those eyebrows? Are, those are glasses. Oh, I was thinking they were eyebrows. Those are glasses, but it's, he just looks like, ter- looks like Terry. All of a sudden, it's Terry and Bradshaw. And he's wearing like sweatpants. And like, I don't know. I'm like, who is this old man? I mean, I in San know. Francisco, I know it's weird weird there, but come yeah, on. I don't know. It's it's So she pushes him out of the way, but she actually doesn't get out of the way. No. So she, this truck like smashes her against a wall. Somehow everyone survives. Yeah, the people uh, in the truck. Just because just, uh, it is comics, but literally these people should have been soup. They get out of this truck like they should have like, been soup. There's three people in this truck. Not soup or man. It should have just been soup. St- just soup. <laughs> just, these people should have just oozed out of the doors, and you'd have been like, oh, that's yeah. Not no, these good. people they try. Someone they, get the white sheet. They crash into like a wall. Yeah. The, 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 the car. This truck is just decimated, and yet these three crime family members no, run out. They're, they're fine. Yeah, they're fine. Or so is so is Spider Woman. Terry Bradshaw also fine. Yeah. <laughs> Terry Bradshaw lives, which is good news for Terry Bradshaw. So like Spider Woman's there, and then some chick, and I guess this is some police detective. So lady. okay, so basically there's a police detective um, who she's friends with, but she's like, yeah, you know, this friend, this friend of hers, and then for some reason, uh, you know, and as they're trying to like figure out what to do about as, this. Yeah, and, and like, but they, as, but they, as the impossible man just like fucks with like all the other people. He fucks with the people and basically they figure out it's like, hey, it's this crime family and we need to yeah, stop them. It's not the, the Yakuza. It's not the Yakuza. But this girl. Well, this limo like pulls up because it's like following them and Spider-Woman's like, oh, do you know who it is? And she's like, no. She's like, no, I'm Kate Micucci. Yeah. <laughs> she does look like Kate Micucci. Yeah, I know. That's what I was going to say. I just, I'm like, hey, it's Kate Micucci. All right. Kate Micucci getting work in this comic book. Um, but she like, she's like, oh, wait, no, she's lying to me. Like Spider-Woman can like hear her heartbeat or whatever. And she's like, oh, that's too which, bad. Which, 
I didn't know that was a thing. Spider Man can't do that. No. I thought she, I know she's not the same as Spider Man, but whatever. Really? Whatever. Okay, so great. What are you, like, Superman? Fine. Fuck you. Yeah. <laughs> so she's like, oh, I wanted to believe her because she was my friend, but now she's not my friend. That's sad. You are not my friend. No. So then, everybody betrayed me. So Spider Woman's like, oh, they're gonna go after these jewels that are that like the opera singer is going to wear tonight. So I'm going to go. Right. And so then we cut to the clubhouse with these guy, you know, this guy and this girl who they're apparently it's the, the, the crime family of the crime group. And they're like, well, you know, we're going to get go the jewels her. and we're going to kill spider woman. Yeah, fuck that bitch. Basically. Fuck that bitch. So spider woman's like, she stops to have dinner. At yeah. The- somewhere and apparently she, instead of like, well, eating- she takes you to, so in order to stop, you know, to stop, to, to, engage in you know stopping this heist she's gonna watch she decides to like go out as like herself like a night yeah she goes out as regular jessica drew as like a night out right and then she changes to spider woman when she gets there which doesn't make any sense it's like why don't you just like so she goes to dinner first but instead of like and the impossible man comes with her and he like is a salt shaker so she's talking to her salt shaker on the table instead of him like Looking like Humphrey Bogart, or which like he's any obviously, other yeah, man. He's, we, yeah, he like, looks like a fucking salt. He shaker. could be soup or man. He could be soup or man. He actually made me more sense if he was a bottle of soup, like a, a bowl of soup. No nope, salt shaker, and like her waiter, who's named Guido, by the way. Mm-hmm. Uh, he's like, hey, Sal, she's talking to her salt shaker. Apparently, she comes here all the time. She's like, yeah, she can do whatever she wants. So like, she's then, aces by me. She could talk to whatever yeah. she wants. So then the the impossible man turns into like a guy with a suit on and they go to like sit in the opera yeah and like some guy like really creepy guy sees her ass and is like where you been all my life i'm gonna sit here and she's like oh you can sit here but the impossible man basically gives her like you know those fucking glasses with the mustache and the nose yeah and this guy thinks they're real because he gives her groucho glasses yeah and and he's like oh they're real oh you're gross and like walks away which is really (laughs) Just okay. Like if you're that. Yeah, that's right. Stupid, yeah, that's right. He, runs, he actually you, just noticed this. Too. Yeah, he does like looking at her ass. He ran into her ass. He's like, "Hey, I'm gonna sit here. Oh yeah, <laughs> you've been on my life, ass. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna sit. I'm gonna sit my. I wonder if that guy's really disappointed all the time. Like if he's constantly attracted to asses, and then like every single time the woman turns around and she's wearing Groucho glasses, he's stupid enough to believe that that's disappointed real. Disappointed ass man. <laughs> It's a, it's Another a Saturday coming, Night Live sketch. This is what, oh man, this is this is full. Of, yeah, this is full of great ideas. That, that, you know, that was on the board too. Of course, it was. It was right next to Green Lanterns are dicks. Disappointed Literally, ass dicks. Man. A disappointed ass man. Maybe that like, should be no, like- no, no. <laughs> Throw those out. We're not using those this week. Maybe he's like a superhero. It's just disappointed ass man. And he just like runs around. He's like, uh, yes, and she turns around. You know, this point, like, disappointed ass man actually is probably good. It's a pretty good premise. Yeah. It's kind of it's kind of like a mini like. You know, it's like a guy that's just like, hey, all right. Oh, no. You know. Oh, <laughs> no. His yeah. exacting standards only apply to asses. <laughs> yeah. He's like, if he sees a good ass and he goes after it, then he sees the rest of it and he goes, oh. It's because he's only attracted to asses. So really what he's looking for is a disembodied ass. Yeah. And he's very upset because it's attached to an, uh, an actual human being. What would the payoff of that sketch be? He just finds like a statue of an ass and just starts like he marries it. Is there a statue of an ass? There is actually. There was an episode. It was, an, an, it was, it was an episode of Martin. <laughs> I remember. I know. I don't know why because I remember that she like Gina got an episode like a, like a statue of an ass and like like a, like a bust of like an ass. It was just just like, an ass. Just ass and like that Martin one. and his friends were and Tommy and all, whoever that other guy was Cole or whatever they were doing dances with it and Gina got really mad. Yeah, I've never seen Martin. I, re- I remember that. Ad. I remember that. Yeah, I remember that episode. So that that guy's looking for that. Yeah, he's looking for that. Um, yeah, yeah. So, so anyway, so as this is going on, so so she so turns into a Spider yeah. Woman. She goes Spider-Woman. and watch after this, and then she tells Impossible Man to sit there and watch the opera, but he gets bored of shit, so he starts fucking everything up. Apparently, he turns into like a dog, and he and starts a, singing. And a drum. Where are these dogs come from? I don't know. Are they part of the show? They must have been. I have. No or were idea. people holding them like just regular dogs? Yes. yes. Rich people bring their dogs everywhere. So yes. But like, I mean, like. Big dogs? Like, I, this is like a I, German I, Shepherd here. Maybe it's a seeing eye dog. I have no idea. And then apparently it turns into looks like a horse. Yeah, I don't know. And he know starts singing. Uh, so yeah. finally they give that the, the opera singer the, the emerald, and she goes out on stage. And she. She goes on stage, she sings, and, and the then she's won't coming off. The emeralds get stolen. Yeah. 
And she's like, oh, no. And so Spider Woman starts chasing him. And she's like, oh, my God, the emeralds got stolen. And this cop is, like, holding uh, basically the jewelry tray with emeralds on. He's like, no, I've got them right here. Which that guy's an idiot. Yeah. Uh, because she well, just was well, she just saying, she's just like, hey, I'm a dumb yeah. cop. Yeah. And so, but it's it's not a necklace. It's the impossible man. So then he tries to help her and they're like running after these guys. Yeah. And everything. He turns, this is, where he turns it, this is where he turns into Spider-Man. He turns into Spider-Man. He turns into a cushion. He turns into everything. I don't know, a shield. He turns into, he turns into uh, Groucho Marx. Groucho and Marx. Zeppo Marx. Zeppo. Yeah. He's doing all the, he's doing bits basically. He's doing a tight five. So then finally they, they catch him. They catch the guys. They give the emeralds back. And so then, so and the, now she's like, "Oh, all right. Now I have to actually find your wife. Like the thing I should have been doing that I promised you I would do." So they like wander around the city looking for the wife. Yeah, and basically what happened was he implies that they got into an argument. Yeah, and she left. Yeah. So th- th- then he's really upset, and she's like, "Well, people argue, and that's normal. If you wanted to experience love, like you said, and relationships, this is what you get." So finally. She goes over to her office and she's like, "Oh no, there's lights on in my office." And she goes in and her there's her buddy. Yeah, she like her Bethany, her uh, yeah. assistant or whatever. And she's who's wearing, who's for some reason just got this random headband on. She kind of looks like Rambo. She's wearing like a Rambo head. She like, she's wearing a Rambo headband. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and there is uh, the the lady impossible, and they speak an emoji. Yeah, they do. <laughs> they do this little heart. <laughs> they're like heart, heart, arrow, arrow. <laughs> and so they're like, oh, we had so much fun. We're going to hang out with you forever. And she's like, no, you need to go hang out with your friend, the thing. Wouldn't he be sad? If yeah. You didn't? And they're like, oh, good point. Yeah, go, so go, go see Ben leave. Grimm. And so she goes home to like make dinner for her landlord slash boyfriend. Yeah. Uh, And they're going to do that. And then they have sex. Well, we don't see it. Yeah, but they have sex. They yeah. totally have sex. Yeah, so it's, it's, they, to, they totally bang the end of the, the book. The end. And then it's like, next, the Yakuza. Ugh. So that's Spider Woman. <sighs> Would you read the next issue? Fuck no. <laughs> what if it didn't have Impossible Man in it? I mean, there's other issues of Spider Woman that I'm interested in mm-hmm. from this run. Mm-hmm. Um, but, and this is the funny thing, is that I've seen this particular issue, uh, like, hanging out in like comic book boxes. It's like one of those issues where it's like, you know, sometimes you go and you'll see like 15 of the same issue. There's always that, like there's a Superman and, um, Spectre and the Spectre issue that I see everywhere. Yeah. Like it's just, cause it's like, there's a lot of run and somebody just was like, I gotta get rid of these sell. And they just throw them in the dollar box and they'll never go anywhere. Right. And, uh, it just, yeah, I feel like I've seen this one, around enough and i know we picked it up because it looks ridiculous and it it is ridiculous but it's not it was me i know it was was you (laughs) because i've actually never seen it in boxes before i feel like i've seen this plenty and i I was like well we i don't really feel we have a lot of spider woman no we never know spider woman and i i I mean i was intrigued so i was like you know what i think we need to do that because we don't have enough lady heroes on the show because really there aren't enough lady hero books so I was we do wonder woman well yeah i mean every once in a while it's like all right let's grab some spider woman let's get some some Spider Woman up in here, and then it ended up having that annoying imp man in it. Yeah, yeah. No, I was not. Uh, I was not on board, yeah. so I would not read this. <laughs> no, no. Uh, would you? Um, you know, I'm. I might. I might actually pick it up because I know that he's not going to be in the next one. It might be better. It might. I, I mean, I, I, I would give Spider Woman a little bit more of a chance. I would. I'm not saying not to give her a chance. I just don't. At this very moment, I don't want to read another issue of her book. Okay, fair enough. But maybe at some point, because I know there's some where, like, you know, like, there's, uh, like, Moon Knight or, like, Werewolf at and by Night. You know, yeah. people, like, just, you know, people show up on these things, and it's, yeah. it's rad. Yeah. So I might be uh, interested to check that out. So, uh, but that's it for August of Spider-Woman, Volume 1, August 1980. No, I'm sorry, Spider-Woman number 45 from August 1982. I do want to say, though, really quick, there is a Marvel bullpen in here. Oh, yes, yes, okay. That actually lists, um, like, a bunch of colorists and inkers and stuff, uh, editors who all got married. Oh. So it, like, throws shouts out to all these people who got married or had babies. And then at the very, very end, it says, last and least, Bob Layton has been cloned. Congratulations, Bob. <laughs> I didn't see that. Yeah, but it's just like, oh, hey, 
Bob somebody got married to Anna somebody in November of 1980 or whatever. Uh, hooray. Hooray. I wonder if they're still married. Yay. <laughs> They've been married for 36 years this year. Good job, guys. So, yeah. Marble bullpen. Fun. Yeah. So um, that's it for this week's show. Yeah. Um, thank you for listening. Yes. And uh, all four all, of you, all four, <laughs> more of them. I know there's a, five of you. Yeah, there's 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 at least a handful. I wish more people in Buffalo listened. Hey, I'm from Denver. Nobody in Denver's listening. So there's more people in Denver listening than there's in Buffalo. There's people in Denver listening. Apparently, well, nobody who knows me. Number like 11, <laughs> 11 people. I think there's like eleven people in Denver. I'm gonna guess that's nobody who actually knows me. Somebody that was just like comical. I, I, I managed to live in Denver for twenty plus years and not really make any friends because <laughs> <laughs> I'm not good at people. <laughs> 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 well, <laughs> oh no! I'm yeah, nobody, no, nobody cares about anything. I, I care. I know you care. I mean, people care. People do care. I just, yeah. I just, you know, it's just what I mean. And I'm, I know this is. I hate when people on podcasts talk about they go, nobody's listening. You know, I'm like, stop it. Who cares? You know, hey, do, I, I do this you, for me. We do this for us. We yeah, enjoy we really it. Do. <laughs> it's just, we really, this is we really literally do. like an hour plus a week where we just get to like riff on comics. Uh, we get to riff on comics and just be be ridiculous. And, and we have fun. It feels good. It does. And it's we're fun. doing it in a real studio. I yeah, feel like we're actually putting nice. out a quality product this week. Hey, this this one week out of how many podcasts that we've released this one? Guys, is nice. it's been a year, almost a year. It's been over, over, a year. over a year at this point. We figured it out. <laughs> we finally put a microphone. We finally <laughs> decided to use a real microphone. Instead of shit. We're, 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 we're like almost at we're Miles and Rachel explain the X-Men quality. <laughs> I feel like they do a much better job. They, they do a way better <laughs> they job. They actually have things to say about comic books. Where we're just like dicks, 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 dicks and balls. <laughs> like that's really all that's going on over here. It's funny. Here's, 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 I'll, I'll say this. I've been listening to a lot of their shows lately and they they're, they're thing. They're different between us and them. Oh, they is, actually have things to say. That they are have things to say, but then, they, but what they'll do is they'll talk about like they don't. Like, they'll bring up a joke, mm-hmm. and then they'll be like, "Hey, wouldn't it be weird? Aha! Oh, that's funny." And then they move on. Oh, they don't like they don't fucking ran it into bury the ground, it like, into the ground <laughs> and have a funeral and then, <laughs> and like, then resurrect like, it and, then and then kill it again up. like we do. No, we, no, we definitely no. Do. We we they they mer- they they go. Hey, wouldn't it be really funny if so and so did this? And they go ha ha. And then they and then go they, on. They go on. And we're just like kill, kill, kill. And then they're resurrect, like, kill. They're like emotional moments in comics. Talk about this. Talk about oh, that. Dicks. You know, people are like, oh, this is really good. No, yeah. just dicks and vagina jokes over here. Yeah, pretty much. Just yeah. That, 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 that's that, it. We're, we're, I think it's it's all we're good for. Yeah. So, uh, anyways, that's that's it for this week's show. Please uh, check us out on Twitter at Angry Hero. Sh- uh, me on Twitter at Angry Hero Sean. Also, my Instagram is Angry Hero Sean, and my Tumblr the Angry Hero dot Tumblr dot com. And if you would like to email the show, if you please email us uh, at Sean at Sideshow Network dot TV if you want to uh, engage with us that way. Yeah. And I'm at Jen Stansfield on Twitter and Instagram, jenstansfield.tumblr.com and jenstansfield.wordpress.com. All right, folks, that's it for this week. Thank you for listening, and we'll talk to you next time. Bye. Bye.